Well, hello everybody. Uh, a new video here about the Centauri and the other videos we had. They give you a general feel about how the fleet is with a, a small bit about every ship in the fleet. Uh, all capitals, all heavy combat vessels, all mediums and all fighters. Um, I spoke there that we would do some in-depth stuff about the ships so newer players could actually uh, get some tips or, or, or tricks to, to use them. And this is the first one I try to do in that aspect. So um, I took the Centauri and uh, as you can see on the screen at the moment, the Vorchan or Demos. Well, it's a hull that in Babylon 5 Wars is used for both ships actually. Um, the series only has this hull and is used as a Vorchan class cruiser, uh, which in the game translates as the Demos, more or less. The Vorchan is there, a smaller ship. Um, it's the same hull. Uh, the one is bigger, the one is smaller. Um, well, if you if you feel like you want to uh, only use the, the series canon or the game canon, well, it's, it's a bit different. So uh, there are two different hulls, two different ships, actually. Uh, as you can see here, um, I'm using the video of another uh, YouTuber, so ignore these people here. Um, just check out the visuals. Uh, it's a Demos, apparently, a um, heavy combat ve vehicle, because this is a Jaquan, which is about, I think, 700 meters. This is a, an Omega, about 1100 meters, I guess, if I remember it correctly. So the Demos is still quite a large hull about 500 meters approximately um, we are going to go in the ah <laughs> here uh, you see the well uh, according to the galactica the enterprise so you know approximately how large the ship will be we're going into the um, fiery void um, game in a moment um, so you can check out how the game how the ship actually translates into the game so we're in the game here and we pulled up a demos uh, I call them beak in this game his target is an Hyperion class heavy cruiser over here but before we do any uh, combat um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the ship itself um, it has a fairly small front uh, its defense value of 15 uh, the side value is 60 so uh, it's fairly difficult to uh, attack it from the front uh, the side is a lot easier uh, it's a heavy combat vehicle so it only it has no sides no uh, uh, left and right sections it only has a front section a primary section and a aft section as you can see the front has 50 uh, structure the <clears throat> and uh, an armor value of 5, which is fairly high, but Centauri have a fairly high armor value. The primary is 30 and 6, and the aft is 46 and 4. So the aft is fairly well, fairly weak and can easily be blown off, which is not that bad. If it gets blown off, if it gets blown off you can always go to speed 0 and use the demos as a, uh, a satellite, hanging there still, turning very easily and still able to fire with anything in the front if the front is being hacked off uh, its nose being cut off well the ship is completely useless because all the weapons are in the front be very careful for that so in detail uh, it has a plasma accelerator a uh, plasma accelerator is a short range plasma weapon um, which does uh, a fairly amount of damage between 16 and uh, 52 uh, range penalty of uh, minus five per hex which is well short short range it translates to the the old game as uh, minus one per hex uh, and the damage um, it uh, goes down the further your uh, target is so if you're going to fire this one the plasma accelerator fire it up close uh, especially in the in the hex of the other ship or one hex further uh, at, at, at most um, it's an accelerator 
weapon so it can uh, fire more it can fire once per turn or once per two turns or once per three turns and three turns is the full amount of damage you get a fairly uh, useful armor here and a fairly useful weapon as well the heavy array is actually the most valuable weapon of it all because it can fire every turn twice it's particle damage uh, damage 8 to 26 which is not that high but twice and you have uh, two of them um, so four times which is uh, good it's also excellent against uh, heavy uh, fighters um, it also has the same range penalty as the plasma accelerator so don't don't fire it too far off uh, it's, so it's also it's excellent against heavy fighters, against uh, mediums, also against capitals, um, where it does a, a fairly amount of damage to it. Also, check out the uh, yeah, if I if I go off it, um, you don't see it, but check out the the arc. The arc is actually almost a 360. Only the aft is well vulnerable to fire. Uh, vulnerable to not being uh, able to fire on other ships so if you see the plasma accelerator it has a, a wide front arc the, the heavy array has a, a nice uh, firing arc and the back well if you get in the back of a demos you're safe it cannot fire upon you the third weapon is a ballistic torpedo a uh, ballistic torpedo has light damage it's a ballistic weapon so uh, be careful that you um, fire it in the correct uh, phase uh, not in the fire phase but in the in the uh, phase where you set your um, your radar and your uh, electronic warfare settings it has a range of 25 so anything uh, in 25 range you can uh, fire it it has a um, nice uh, it has no fire control against fighters so it doesn't make an excellent anti-fighter weapon uh, it has six six uh, torpedoes in um, in its slot, so you can fire six, and you can actually fire one, three, two, three, four, five, or six. Um, the way you do it is you um, well, <laughs> we're going to cover that in a, another video because I still, uh, after playing this game for two years, haven't grasped fully how to. Uh, set my ballistic torpedo so that they f fire six uh, shots so uh, we'll get in that later so uh, further uh, primary the scanner is nine which is it, it's high it's it's uh, better than uh, most uh, capital ships of other league races it has an engine of 10 which is also very good um, and it has a positive reactor so you can actually boost your engine with one from the get-go from every turn so you have 11 engine um, if you shut down your other stuff uh, don't the, the, the arming delay is three so don't shut this off you can shut off your heavy arrays you can shut off your um, two extra power and you have 10 so you can boost your uh, electronic warfare to 10 um, to actually get in there close uh, you're not firing anything but well if you need to get close and you have a long way to get to go t until you get there you're going full turtle with 10 which is actually very nice something great to do so um, maneuverability uh, that is a, a very good aspect of the demos uh, we can't show it here in the initial orders, but we're going to do some movement later and some firing later And then I can show you better what this can do At the moment we are going to target the Hyperion With a good amount of electronic warfare, let's say five I'm going to fire a ballistic torpedo boom it says one of six so it fires one torpedo with a hit rate about 70 percent which is also nice so that fires off in this turn as i said before you can you can get more ballistic torpedoes but every time i you know, see it, it now it, it's locked it says five i'm firing five of six 
fine but when i see in the firing range it also says one so i, I i'm not sure actually how this works uh, guys, if you can uh, help me out on this, I'd, I'll be sure to hear your answers about this conundrum. So, um, next we're going to see the movement phase. So, the maneuvering bit. Um, our Demos is going 7, the Hyperion is going 5, but as you can see, we're going first. So, we actually have no way of uh, predicting where he's going to be to uh, have a good shot at him which is a problem. We have excellent coverage with our weapons, but it's, it's, uh, it's murky. It's, it's, you don't exactly know where it's going to be, so our demos is in a bit of a problem. So what options do we have to move? We're going seven, which is fairly fast. Um, it's a speed where capital ships have trouble in turning, but not our demos. For instance, what can we do? say we're going to try to make a full stop we're having 10 engine we can go six five four three and at this point you have to over trust the front thrusters which is well hazardous because you can uh, over burn them but you can go from seven to two and that's it so you actually had a possibility to decrease your speed by five same can be said about uh, increasing your speed um, for instance to eight nine ten eleven twelve to actually shoot across him and come around here so well he can never outturn you but well why do that um, for turning possibilities the demos can do two turns at speed seven um, so there's a possibility to uh, show them your rear you gotta go free turn again one two three and even four so at this point he has your rear and takes your shot at your aft section which is not good because here's the edge of the battlefield uh, in this game mode and if he shoots out your thrusters which he will probably do there's a possibility you cannot turn again hmm. um, also if you were going speed six you could even do three turns and uh, really come 180 about so still a difficult position uh, so we're going to try to ascertain where he's going i believe he's going to uh, well, he see where we're ending up uh, and then have a better vantage position on us. But for the sake of this demo, we are going to go down to five um, and go approximately in his vicinity. There. So. I have positioned to this uh, place the Hyperion turned and has a few weapons locked on me but I have managed to get into his side. Uh, I only did a minor lock on him um, of about uh, five uh, which gives me uh, fairly decent uh, possibilities to actually hit him. Our plasma accelerator has a 65 and our two heavy arrays has 70% to hit him. I am going to lock those weapons on him. Also remember that we have a ballistic torpedo that is still en route from him from this earlier uh, position. So it's going to hit him in the front with a hit chance of 75%. Uh, if that were uh, six or five ballistic torpedoes, um, it would do a little bit more damage, but I only managed to uh, fire off one because uh, I still don't know exactly how that works. So um, we are going to see what the fire resolution is about. Also, the Hyperion has a couple of pulse cannons and uh, standard particle beams he fires back at us. So we'll see if we're going to keep our nose or not. So the fire has actually been done. Um, we're going to uh, check uh, the firing stage and see what actually happened. So 
Hyperion fires and hits some standard particle beams, which is okay. That's the ballistic torpedo. We're firing back and doing still some damage to him. Let's see how it turns out. Um, well, he's missing uh, <laughs> all his weapons, a large chunk of his structure, and we actually went through to the uh, um, internal uh, structures to actually almost take out his engine and give him an output of minus two on his engine, which for a Hyperion is uh, really not that good because he, well, maneuvering isn't an option anymore. Let's let's just say that. Uh, we're checking our demos. Uh, yeah, well, see, uh, our plasma accelerator is almost out, but the rest we're actually doing Jim Dandy a little bit of structure damage, which isn't that bad. So this fairly cheap ship, by getting into the side of a large capital, actually crippled the capital uh, with one volley. Uh, so you can see the the strength of the the demos. We all our uh, heavy arrays actually hit for hits, which did. 49 damage and uh, he could also subtract his armor from that and our plasma accelerator it hit 2 doing 35 damage and he only could subtract 4 of his armor instead of this one you see it's plasma uh, well tends to uh, get by uh, burn through a little more uh, harder than other particle weapons so uh, there you have it that's uh, that's the demos uh, imagine fielding two or three of these suckers in a wolf pack. It actually burns through a capital in one go. So, hope you like this. I'm going to edit now and, uh, well, uh, prepare for my next, uh, um, next detail ship. Uh, if you have comments or have some stuff you see uh, that's not really correct or you have some better tactics, please share it to me in the comments below and, uh, We'll uh, see if we can do an update in, uh, in some time. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye.